In this next section, we'll be building a small terrarium to put our cakes in, and the idea is very simple. All we need is an area, an enclosed area, that'll hold a high humidity and still allow plenty of fresh air. Let's watch. The next step after getting our terrarium built is to put some perlite in it. Perlite is an excellent means of humidifying a terrarium. It works by having a very, very large surface area. Uh, it's a crystalline product, so water doesn't absorb into it. But because it has such a large surface area, water coats the, uh, the outer surface of it. And then when we put it into our terrarium over a period of weeks, that water evaporates back off again and it fills up our terrarium with humidity. It's really, really great. And it's a long proven method that, uh, that works very well. Here's a picture of an individual piece of perlite. Uh, this piece is only about maybe a sixteenth of an inch in diameter, about one millimeter. And you can see from looking at it that it's just full of nooks and crannies and little bumps. So it has a very large surface area. And that is how it works for humidification because the water coats the entire surface and then over time it is able to evaporate off. Now you can see from this next picture, this is a stack of perlite. Uh, it's only a, a small, maybe a tablespoon's worth that I put under the microscope and zoomed it all the way out so that I could show you what it looks like in your terrarium. So you can see there's a tremendous amount of surface area and with this surface area being coated with the water, it then evaporates out and is sufficient to humidify your entire terrarium for well over a month without adding water.
you want to spread the perlite out and you want to make it about oh four to five inches deep or so uh, as you can see it's about the depth that my hand is if it's turned on its side uh, don't pack it down you want it nice and loose and fluffy and airy so that you've got the maximum amount of surface area exposed uh, so it can it can do its job evaporating and here's what it looks like when you get it full of cakes but I'm getting ahead of myself a little bit I want to show you a part that I filmed earlier with a different terrarium and it's what we call birthing and the Duncan Roll Tech. I like to give at least one or two cakes out of each batch a good sniff after birthing just to make sure it has that nice fresh mushroomy smell. Well as you can see birthing is a pretty simple process. I like to take the uh, vermiculite barrier off. Some people go ahead and save it and use it over again but the way I look at it, it's been exposed to the elements, and that's been our filter. So let's go ahead and scrape that off. Vermiculite's cheap. We'll, we'll use more later. But scrape the vermiculite barrier off, and then just slam your jar down on a piece of wood, and you'll find the cake will just pop right out usually. And then I like to uh, rinse it under the faucet before I begin the soak. You get most of that vermiculite off, and just give it a good rinse. And then we're going to put it in water and weight it down and soak it for 24 hours. So this is the roll part of the Dunkin' Roll. Uh, after the 24 hour soak, we're going to take our cakes out, rinse them well under water to clear off any bacteria or whatever that may have grown on the surface, and then we're going to roll them very well in dry vermiculite. And rolling is just about like what you would do with a piece of chicken when you put flour on it. You want to just put it into the dry verm and throw it all over it and coat the cake really well and then set it into your terrarium. Now vermiculite's a mineral, so it doesn't really harbor any kind of contaminants, but you never know what might have landed on it. So before you roll your cakes in it, it's probably a good idea to put it on a cookie sheet, and you can just stick it in the oven on about 350 or so for half an hour, and that should be sufficient to kill off any mold spores that may have just landed on it. Now after the Dunkin' Roll, I like to let the cake sit in the terrarium for about a half an hour or so, and then open it up and take your mister, and you want to wet that uh, vermiculite very, very well. We use it dry. When we roll it on, it sticks to the cake much better if it's dry, and if you try to mist it right away, you'll end up washing the vermiculite off. But if you let it sit for half an hour, you can then come back with your mister, and you want to do this several times over about the next two hours. And